Oh, yeah. Team Canada has more than one million fans between Facebook and Twitter alone, making it one of the largest social fan bases in the world. To announce the launch of the new digital fan platform, please welcome, get this, four-time Olympian, three-time Olympic medal winner, and Team Canada chef de mission, Kurt Harnett. <laughs> Kurt, welcome. Happy Pan Am. I'm on breakfast television and you're giving me an applause. Stop. Like, oh my God. Just like, what thank do you, you mean? for having me. We're on. so honored to have you, <clears throat> Chef Demission. And where do you store all of your medals? That's just a few of the ones that you I've have. I've got the greatest story I have is one day I was going out to do a speech where they wanted me to have my medals there and I was scouring the house for them and I found them in my daughter's room around some of the stuffies that she had oh, sitting yeah, in her room. So I was like, ah, there they are. Well, that's put to very good use. Good morning to your family. Hi, guys. Have fun with daddy's medals. And there's lots of medals to be had. We're so excited about all things Pan Am. First of all, what the heck is a chef de mission? What are you cooking up, chef? The biggest question I get is what culinary school did I go to? So <laughs> George Brown is a partner of these games. So I always say George Brown College, the uh, best, best culinary school in, in the country. Well, of course I cook. Okay, but just uh, it, my, my role is to, to, to be there to lead the team. I'm the lead for the delegation. But it's to ensure that our athletes have everything that they need to compete and win. It's particular at these games here at home. It's a great opportunity. 720 of Canada's best athletes competing against the Americas here for 16 days during these Pan Am Games. Real exciting opportunity. In fact, yesterday, men's and women's water polo team up against tough Brazil. We tied in the women's game. Unfortunately, the men in a nail biter lost in the in the in their game. Uh, women are back on today. Synchronized swimming tomorrow, and then the opening ceremonies on the 10th. And so many people, of course, are rallying right now. The support is massive, as we just said. So you're here to help with the digital platform, which is super cool. There's profiles, there's prizes, there's a whole bunch of cool ways to get it, and points. You can collect points by going to at Team Canada or Olympic.ca to join the Olympic Club. So how does that all work? Well, it's this great uh, platform. Again, as you spoke of, the Canadians are very engaged with our team. In fact, in the, uh, as, on a ranking in the world, Canada is number one for yes. fan engagement. We're always number one in some of the greatest elements of not only the greatest country in the world but so it's just another way for fans to interact with sport with the athletes that they love and carry so much pride for what we're hoping for them to come out and do so in the stands at these games uh, but just another way to interact and you know one of the great things we have is in the next couple of days we're going to give away a couple of tickets to the opening ceremonies yes. at these panels one of the like the toughest ticket to get you in the city it, it's you done. can't get it's them so you can't get them so you're going to give away well not you personally but the whole team two opening ceremony tickets on that platform at team canada get engaged cheer on our athletes. There's going to be so many superstars who emerge from this. There's always those cool moments, those people that pop out who maybe you've never heard of before who become household names like you did to this day. Forget Harnet. You're known as Hairnet. Mr. Perplus. Mr. Perplus. <laughs> Guys, when everybody, we have our meetings and we're always like, who's on the show the next day after the show? When we said it to you, they're like, it's the Perplus guy. You remember this. Let's take a look back. Canadian Olympic medal winner. I work hard to be the very best. I train hard every day. And that Your hair, hair is really, it's amazing though. Mess. I see why they chose you. That's a good head of hair. You still have it. It's the poodle shot though. But, for me, for but this thing, you get this to this day. That money shot. Look at you, scrubbing it in. Getting it nice and clean. Nice clean. Oh, yes, there's the shot. It's a winning combination. <laughs> Seriously, and it follows you to this day. I heard oh, it. I'm better known as the shampoo guy that went to the Olympics than the <laughs> Olympic guy that did the shampoo commercial. Absolutely. In fact, the hotel room you're staying in right now, here we have a little photo. This is inside the village. This picture that we have coming up, yeah. that's inside the So uh, in my room in you the checked village, in. This, I checked in. This is and what he it found. Was, uh, it yeah. Was, the, uh, the 500 and some odd beds that Team Canada has in the village, in the shower, in my room, was a bottle of Pert Plus shampoo. So it lives on. Kudos to the mission team, the team behind the team. We've got a great team that's leading and, and, uh, and supporting our athletes on the ground. It's really amazing for me to be a part of that. Yeah. It's been a real exciting process. But again, so, like our top athletes, the athletes that we will be yelling and screaming at <laughs> on our TVs come Rio next summer, those same athletes will be on the ground here uh, during these games, and I couldn't be more honored. And of course, Mark Oldershaw, a canoeer from uh, the Burlington area, carrying a, a heritage, their family, five generations of, of canoers carrying the flag in into the opening ceremonies. Looking forward to 60,000 Canadians great. cheering That's them mission. on. Great supporter for them. Thank you so much. For more information, at Team Canada, Olympic.ca. Cheer on our athletes. Thank you so much, Mr. On Kirk. guard. Kurt Hairnut, on guard.